Well, CBS says former chairman and CEO Leslie Moonves will not get the $120 million severance payment his contract called for. The CBS board of directors said yesterday there are grounds to terminate Moonves for cause, allowing the company to block that payout. Board members made the decision after reading the results of an independent investigation into sexual misconduct allegations mm -hmm. against Moonves and the overall culture at CBS. Jerika Duncan is here with the board's description of that report. Jerika, good morning. Good morning, Bianca. Two law firms were investigating allegations against Leslie Moonves to help the CBS board decide if it had the grounds to terminate him without severance pay. Well, the board said yesterday investigators found it did. Once a television titan, Leslie Moonves's more than two-decade career at CBS came to an end in September after multiple women came forward accusing him of sexual misconduct and retaliation. On Monday, CBS moved to deny Moonves his $120 million golden parachute, saying its outside investigation concluded he violated company policies, breached his contract, and failed to cooperate fully with their investigation. Just last week, Moonves faced allegations from another high-profile accuser. He says, well, you know, why don't you let me take you home? I said, no, I've got a ride. Actress Sybil Shepard claimed her CBS show Sybil was taken off the air in 1998 after she rejected Moonves's advances. How soon after that then did you find that you were having issues with the series? Of uh, Quite shortly afterwards. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Do you mm -hmm. think back to that day and wonder if things had had gone differently, what would have happened to the show? It would have run another five years. While CBS's full report has not been released, the New York Times says it reviewed a leaked draft in which investigators say they found issues with CBS's anti-harassment and other policies. They found Moonves and about 30 other senior leaders were typically allowed to sidestep anti-harassment training, and some senior people in the news division historically had their assistants complete the training for them. Over the past year, CBS News has faced scrutiny. It fired 60 Minutes executive producer Jeff Fager for sending a threatening message to this reporter. And it fired CBS This Morning co-host Charlie Rose over sexual misconduct allegations. But the CBS board said Monday investigators concluded harassment and retaliation are not pervasive at the company. We asked 16 employees here at the CBS News division about that conclusion. One employee told us they agree with the board's assessment, but another employee said a culture of harassment is being overlooked here. A different employee told us they feel secrecy allowed the problems at CBS to fester for decades, and without transparency, this process has zero credibility. They must release the investigator's report. CBS declined to answer additional questions when we reached out, including whether it plans to release the report. The company did say it has begun to take robust steps to improve the working environment for all employees. An attorney for Moonves said in a statement the conclusions of the CBS board were foreordained and are without merit, adding Moonves vehemently denies any non-consensual sexual relations and cooperated extensively and fully with investigators. Moonves has also previously denied retaliating against women. It is unclear right now if Moonves will fight the decision on his pay. John? All right, Jerika, thank you. Well, it's clear that the reckoning continues, and yes. you, can't, you can't provide solutions until you know fully what the problem exactly. is and exactly. what exists. And so that secrecy that still exists, the people that have covered up that behavior, that still needs to be clarified until we can make the meaningful changes. And I do believe that those on the board, there are now six women on the board, there are five men, it is a majority female board, mm -hmm. that they are pushing for change. Mm -hmm. And the board says they want transparency and they want to do the right thing. I'm also from the camp of we have to see what's in the report so we know exactly what we're dealing with and how you can change it and how you can uh, get rid of the people that no longer need to be here who are still involved in whatever this behavior is. I, I do think it's a brand new day. Yeah. Well, uh, let's say I hope it's a brand new day. I think we have to, we're going to have to wait to the new year yeah, for that right. new day. You're we right. have been I, promised that a new day is on the horizon. You're right. And we no. are holding firm to that yes. idea. Yes. A new day in the new year. <laughs>